President Uhuru Kenyatta and Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe have overhauled the board of directors of that agency, that's the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, kicking out Kembi Gitura, who led the board. In their place, a team led by a senior official of the USAID, Mary Mwadime, will steer the institution for the next three years. This is coming in the wake of concessions between the Kenyan and US governments to reform the agency. Sam Gituku reports. The Kemsa management has been under investigation for months now since last year when allegations of illegal procurement of COVID-19 related response items was reported. Just before the COVID scam came to life, controversy had hit the agency after an audit report showed inconsistencies in the expenditure of donor funds. And as a standoff with the USAID persists over supply of ARV drugs, the American government has been keen on reforms as intimated earlier in the week by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. You know, I know uh, the government is working uh, to, to reform. We have an obligation to our own taxpayers when we're spending their money uh, to do it uh, in a way that is accountable uh, and fully transparent. Two days later, the board of directors has been overhauled. Former Senate Deputy Speaker Kembi Gitura, who has led the board for two years now, has been removed and in his place, President Kenyatta picking Mary Chao Mwadime. Mwadime has worked with USAID Monrovia in Liberia as a Senior Acquisition and Assistance Specialist. She previously worked at the Kenyatta National Hospital as a Chief Supplies Officer. In the board of seven directors, three are Principal Secretaries of Health, Finance and Devolution or their representatives. The other four slots ought to be competitively selected. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe has chosen Captain Retired Lawrence Wahome, Dr. Robert Nyarango, who currently served at the Gertrude's Children's Hospital. Terry Kiunge Ramadani, another new director, is currently Director of Human Resources at the Aga Khan University. She previously served as a Senior Director at the Presidential Delivery Unit. Linton Nyaga Kinyua, a Logistics and Supply Chain Professional, closes the list. Gitura was recently appointed chair of the Communication Authority Board amidst questions from the public. And as he leaves Kemsa, he does so alongside Professor Timothy Mololo, Dorothy Atieno, Bibiana Njue, and Joel Onsari Gisuka. Njue and Gisuka had served in the board for just 17 months. The law allows director to serve for a period of three years, extendable to six years. But it is not just the Kemsa board. That, has, uh, that we have changed. If you look at the CAM report, it has also uh, got um, new, uh, new people and the process of renewing is, is, is not new. I, Dr. Jonah Manjari Mwangi. KEMSA has been embroiled in multi-billion scandals. At the moment, several senior officials in its management are on suspension following investigations into COVID-19 related procurement for the new board. The daunting task will be to restore the confidence of Kenyans and the donor community, streamline procurement procedures for accountability, at a time USAID has held back on its support to critical programs like ARV drugs. Sam Gitukusri TV.